Hi everybody, it is Dreadball, second edition week here on beastofwar.com and we have three amazing launch bundles up for grabs. In this epic gaming set, you have the chance to win the Dreadball second edition core game, the collector's rulebook, the limited edition Blaine MVP, as well as the Galactic Tour expansion, the events deck, the Mitsudo Tectonics team and the New Eden Revenant team. Don't miss your chance to win. Get your comments in on any of the Dreadball videos this week on beastofwar.com, YouTube or Facebook. Hello everybody, I am here with Rob and we are talking Dreadball. So, uh, we've came to the end of a game, we've been playing off camera and we actually wanted to sit down just to run people through the main mechanics of the game over a couple of rushes, which are what the turns are called. So, Rob, what are the, the key points you're going to want to cover in this? So, I think in this we'll cover really the basics. So, like moving, slamming, throwing the ball, yep. and probably most importantly, a few fouls as well. Ooh, okay, okay. If you, yeah. Are you going to stomp on my head? I'm an honourable player. Honourable. Yeah. <laughs> there always comes that moment which is like, oh, the ref's away. Stomp, stomp. Nothing yeah. to see here. <laughs> yeah. Turn away. So, uh, yeah, we've uh, so in the last turn, you've just scored, unfortunately. Yeah. So it means you've got two points. Yes. So uh, just like Dreadball First Edition, the score tracker keeps going back and forth. So yeah, that tug that of war. Nice tug of war, yeah. Yeah, so the only way you're going to automatically win is if you get to seven. Yeah. But the chances of that happening are, are pretty slim. Well... I don't know, if if you're very tactical and you give your opponent no room to breathe, I'm sure there probably have been dread ball tournaments where players have done it. Well, yeah, I suppose if you if you know if you know your team inside out, there is always that chance. But in this one, we've been kind of going back and forth all the yeah. way. So uh, you scored in the last one, so that means, yes. first of all, I need to launch the ball. Yes, so launching the ball, I assume it's just a, a roll, yeah? Yeah, so I roll, and basically each of these spots here is yes. where the ball can come off. Right, so just along here, yeah. gotcha. So I've got two. Two, okay. Get the ball here, one. Awesome. That's not too bad. Nice open field. Yeah. Now you've got some pathways through here into like scoring zones, which yeah. makes me nervous. So the scoring zones worth mentioning that actually. Yeah. So these ones here at the front. Yeah. Uh, if you're in this main area, the main hex yeah, is well, there. Yeah. If, if you use your ones. Oh yeah. So yeah, the main hex is here. Yep. So that would be one point. Yep. If you stand here and chuck the ball in, that's two. Okay. But it's a little bit more difficult on those ones. Yeah. You're going to lose a dice for the distance and the small target. Yeah. If you do manage to make it down here. Which unfortunately you just did last time. <laughs> um, then you'll be getting three points. Yes. Or potentially four points there. Ah, uh, so if you go for the the big one here, that's that's yeah. the four pointer. Um, okay. So the kind of the actual strike area itself is a bit like a kind of basketball hoop. Yeah. Here. So you can block line of sight to it straight down. Yeah. So at the minute you are blocking that four pointer, yeah. but you can still kind of throw the ball around. Yeah. Go like that. Yeah. And just hook it and go for the dunk. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So we've got the ball on now. Yes. So. I think I want a little bit of revenge. Okay, okay. Um, so I'm going to try and slam this poor Jack here. Oh, this, this poor little dude here? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, um, again, you've got the, the same types. You've got Jacks, Strikers, Guards. Yep, you've got so your five actions in a turn. Yeah, so you've got five actions in a turn. You can play two actions on a player. Yep. Uh, or you can potentially put an extra card on them as well. Yes, and there's only one card per, yes. per rush? Yes, that's right. Just like the, uh, one that's card per player. But, yeah. Ah, yes, yeah. okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to move this guy here. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. So I've got a move of five. Uh, so I could get to there. Uh, so you're coming up just a, a, a wee touch. Yeah. Short. So what I can do is I can actually sprint. Okay. So sprint means you can go double your move. Yeah. But you have to count each individual hex turn. So okay. normally you can just run uh, around quite freely. happily. Yeah. So in that case, let's spend an action. Yep. And he's going to go one, two, uh -huh. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to put a threat hex on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll see why I put a threat hex in a minute. <laughs> uh, you can also dash okay. at the end of a turn, which is pushing yourself. Mm. So if you really need to go that little bit extra, yeah. maybe you've done a sprint, or maybe you don't want to kind of, uh, you haven't got the, the distance that you need, mm -hmm. you can roll uh, the dice and you can actually dash and right. potentially fall over okay. on the pitch. Or, trip over your heels. Yeah, you can trip over. Uh, or you can get a little bit further. So that's really yeah. handy if you just need to get to that strike, if you're yeah. desperate to get to that strike zone and you really need to get there. It's the one thing Dreadball's always had is that, that lovely push mechanic. You yes. can go that little bit further. Yeah, yeah, you can always push yourself. And, and yeah, if you do need to, you can go that little bit yeah. further. So, okay, so uh, for your next trick, what are you up to? Um, I'm actually going to buy a card. Okay. So again, just like the, the first one, you can actually buy the cards uh, okay. during the game. Actually, there has been one change, is that before you could only buy a card if your team started with a card. Ah, but this is such a kind of important part of the game, such a mm. fun part of the game. Yes. Well, actually, everyone should be able to buy a card. 
because you know you you can get that all important extra action to help you in the game. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like, if you get like an extra run or a throw just to get the ball exactly where you want it yeah. to go, yeah, it can be absolutely key. Yeah. So we thought, well, actually, you know, we'll give them to everyone. And um, one of the other changes now for the cards mm-hmm. is that again, some of the cards are specific to guards or jacks or strikers, but some teams don't have guards or some teams that have strikers. Yeah. So now you can actually uh, burn a card to have a re-roll. Oh, to redraw? Yeah, to, no, just to re-roll a dice. So oh. say you've had a roll, so like uh, a slam or a strike, yeah. and you've fluffed it. Yeah. You can say, okay, I'm going to burn one of my cards and have yes. a re-roll. Okay, so it gives cool. you another extra chance to maybe kind of make that all-important strike or that kind of slam. Yeah. Now, you were also talking to me during our game here about uh, events and stuff. They used to automatically trigger when you drew them. Yeah, so the special cards. So you've got two different types of cards. Yeah. You've got the action cards, which yeah. have got a blue oh, header you, on. If you put them on the camera here for me. So, look, so, so what have we got here? So I'm actually letting Justin see my cards here, but we're being... Friendly for the sake game. of this, Friendly yeah. Friendly game. Um, so... Any ones with the orange header on, mm-hmm. they're a special. So they would be like uh, events that can take place. So it might be that one of the players has been out the night before and he's have a bit of a hangover, yeah. celebrating too early. Um, so, or it could be stuff like this, which is the next gen med box. So if you're injured, you can actually kind of bring them on uh, uh, one space extra. That's useful. Yeah. Uh, um, the usual stuff for the blues is action stuff. Yeah, so the actions will be you know, an extra throw, an extra slam. Uh, and like we are saying, normally you can only play two actions on a player, and this allows you to put a third on. Yeah. Okay. So that can be really, really useful. Yeah, and then down the bottom we have the, the little pips for the fan checks. Yeah, so fan checks are, when you do something particularly spectacular, the crowd are going, wow, I love it, I love it, yes. and going mental. Yes. So you kind of get extra rewards for mm-hmm. that. So it could be something like a particularly successful slam, mm-hmm. if you get someone off for three turns, or you yeah. kill them. Don't kill me. No, that would send that they're quite bloodthirsty, the Dreadball fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if, if you do a nine hex pass mm-hmm. and manage to catch it. That's a long bomb. Yeah, I mean, that is a real Hail Mary. But yeah. I mean, that wasn't in the original, actually. But we were talking about it. I thought, well, that is such an amazing move. Yeah. And I remember once I managed to do it with the, the Veermen, mm. who were rolling on a five plus. I had yeah. one dice and I did it. And I was like, oh, wow, that's spectacular. I didn't get rewarded for it. <laughs> so um, we kind of looked and thought, well, actually, that's a really good one. And you also get fan checks now for fouling. Oh. Okay. So a successful foul, if you manage to double it or pull it off, yeah. you will get a fan check as well. Okay. Okay. So fouling just you a lot player, more enticing. Yeah. Okay. So let's have a look. So I've played two actions already. Yep. Uh, and I've got three left. Yes. So now I've got this guy set up quite nicely. I'm going to come in for a slam. Uh-huh. So a slam is like a, a blocking move in American football. Mm. You don't have to go for the player with the ball. Yes. It's not like normal football, soccer, yeah. uh, where you have to tackle the guy with the ball. Yeah. You can actually use it to clear people out of the way yeah. or just smear them onto the pitch. Well, you know, I mean, like maybe there was something on the media. He was talking trash. And, yeah, he could have been here before the game. It's time just for that moment of, oh, you what, mate? Bit of sledging before the game. <laughs> so I've got my guard here. Yeah. So the guards uh, and the... Jacks can slam. Yeah, uh, they're the only ones that can do it. Strikers can't slam at all. Yeah, because uh, they're obviously the nimble, agile players. They haven't got the armor on. Yeah, yeah. so he's going to come in now as part of a slam. You can move. Uh huh. So one, two, three. Yeah, and uh, no counting turning on the hexes because no, because he's just moving normally. Yep. Uh, but you're in. So uh, the kind of way that most of the rolls work in Dreadball is you always start with three dice. Yes. And then you kind of add dice or take away dice depending upon what's happening. Yes. In this case, I start with three. Yeah. I get one extra because I'm a guard. Uh huh. Because he's tough. Yeah. And I also get one extra because I've run in. So, like, the momentum is carrying yeah. me, like a charge. Okay. So, I'll roll mine first. Okay. What do we got? So, I'm looking for force, which is my strength stat. Yikes. So, this is now. There's two. One of the things to talk about here is actually, there's two there. But the six explodes. Ah. So that means I can re-roll one of the misses, or if they were all successes, I can actually re-roll another one. So I hope this is another oh. six. That'd be awesome. Oh. oh! Oh dear. Oh dear. I thought these are those dice I baked earlier. Okay. Okay. So, so I've actually gone from two to four. four. This is bad day biscuits. And what I could do if I really wanted to be cruel, because I was talking about burning those cards. Yeah. Let's burn that one. Okay. And re-roll that. Oh. oh no! That always happens. Okay, you got but, greedy. You I got know. greedy. But four, I'm quite happy with that. All right, so I'll be okay. I'm a jack. So yeah. my strength is a four plus. 
but my agility is better if I want to dodge out of the way. So that's a three plus. Yeah. So jacks have the option, and um, well, jacks and guards have the option of either slamming back yeah. if you're in their front hex, or yeah. they can dodge. So, like I say, you guys are very, very good. You're very agile, so you probably want to be dodging. Yeah. So three dice base. Yeah. However. Yes. The reason why I ran this guy up. Oh. Is he taking a dice away from my? Yeah. Goal, so then? If you've got a threat hex on you, yeah, so it I'll, takes a dice away. I'll lose the dice and go to the two. Yeah. Okay. This could be painful. Um, oh. Oh, actually. So I get... You've got two. Two and a re-roll. Yeah. Which means I'm rolling the extra for nothing. Oh, dear. That was close. Two get through. Okay. So that means I've doubled you. Yes. Um, so the way it works is if I won, I would just push you back. Yeah. But because I've doubled you, I can push you back and knock you down. I see. And you're potentially injured. Oh. So I'm going to knock you down to here. Yeah. And you'll fall over. So that means you've got to stand up before you can do anything else. Yeah. I have got the option of following up if uh -huh. I want. Um, I don't think I will follow up. Okay. I've got a threat X on you here. Uh-huh. So, I got four. Yeah. You've got two. That yeah. means potentially you're off for two turns now. You've right. got to recover. Yeah. Recuperate. But now I have to go off my armor stat, which is a four plus. Yeah. And I start with three base, yeah? That's right. So, yeah, you have to make an armor check to see if you're wounded. Mm -hmm. uh, and you need the number of successes is going to yeah. take away the potential damage. Yeah, but for the, the actual pool generation, I'll still start with three. Yes, you always start with three. In. Yeah, you would get, um, if you were guard, you get an extra one, so you get four. But yeah, yeah as a jack, you get three dice. Okay. Come on. Right. Uh, block oh. one. You blocked one. Oh. So, if you wanted, I mean, we've only got one turn left. So, yeah, actually. I've... I'm going to burn a card okay. and re-roll one of these. Yep. For nothing. That always Can I keep burning cards? You could do if you wanted, but I mean, you, that's a risk. You, you, you've kind of got to weigh up, particularly yeah. that you've got a, any player, any action. That's a really good card. Yeah. Um, yeah, I so, don't really want to burn that. No. And I know I have one more rush to try and bring it back yeah. if you do get something you know, happening here. Yeah, yeah. In that case, so he is now kind of off. Uh, okay. On the injury bench to recover. And just onto the one slot, yeah? Yeah. So he's right here. Oh, bring him forward. <laughs> um, okay. So potentially, like, you can go up to be off for three turns. Yeah. Uh, if you're off for four turns, then yeah. You're, yeah. And then whenever you're in injured. this slot here, does that mean you're ready to walk on? That's right. So that's like the subs bench. Uh -huh. So you can just bring a player on as one of your actions. Okay. Uh, it's not a special action when you're yeah. doing like that. So I've lost the jack, but I've got one sitting in reserve. Okay. Let's have a look. So... I probably need to think about scoring. Yeah. So I've got two actions left. Uh huh. So I'm going to go and try and pick up the ball. Okay. So I'm going to use my striker here. Uh -huh. So I can move as part of this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So oh, you're on. Oh, well, I was. <laughs> um, and again, you start with three dice to pick up the ball. Yeah. Uh, and you get an extra one. Use a striker. Yeah. And I'm using my skill stats. So that's a four. That's not bad. So fingers crossed. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, so this is actually a good time to talk. So I've actually, I mean, I've got a lot of sixes there. I mean, I actually only needed one success. Yeah. However, if you double a roll, yeah. like picking it up or catching, you get a free action. Ah. So that free action could be an extra run. Mm -hmm. um, it could be uh, a throw as mm -hmm. well. So I'm just going to pick the ball up. Ooh. And then for my free action, I'm going to run. I'm going to try it. So you're on two at the minute. Yeah. So I need to try and bring that back. So I want to go for the big three points. Okay. So one, two, three. Okay. So I've got one action left, uh -huh. and I've also got any player run. Oh. So, if um, if I ran in now yep. and threw the ball at the uh, the three points, uh -huh. I'd actually lose a dice because uh, of kind of throwing the ball after running. You yeah. kind of not you haven't centered yourself. Yeah, you haven't planted your feet. No, you're, not you're kind of running it. running off, kind of uh, running and then throwing at the same time. Yeah. So you'd actually lose a dice, which would mean I'd only be on two dice. Mm. So. I think I'm going to play any player run. Okay. So that's it. That card's gone now. Yeah. You've burnt it. And then go one, two, three. I need to make sure that my threat X is uh, kind of facing the goal. Yeah. And then whew, I'm going to go for the big strike. You're going to go for it. So start with three. Yeah. Get one extra for being a striker. Yeah. But I do lose one for being a small target. Right. Now what I can do uh -huh. is this blue dice... Ah, uh, you can throw Here. coaching dice. Yeah, then. so coaching dice, um, some teams actually start with them at the beginning of the game. Yeah. In league play, you can buy them as well. Yeah. And these are one-use dice that you can kind of add into a roll if, it, if you really want to do a nasty if, slam. If it's critical. Yeah, yeah, or a strike like this. I'm going to use this. So here we yeah. go. So four dice, for it. looking for fours. Whew! Uh, I'm just showing off now.
Yeah, kind of. So I've got two. So yeah. that means, yeah, I do score. So that score goes one, two, three. Yeah. So now I'm winning by one. It's back in the red. Uh, and also because I doubled it, the crowd are now going completely crazy. Maybe yeah. I did a backflip as I was doing it, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I like to show off. And I get a fan check. Uh-huh. Uh, so what do you get? I just one get the hit. one. Oh, well, so actually, I've already got two. Ah. Now I can trade those in. So whenever you get three, you can trade them in. Yeah. Um, well, I haven't got any cards, so I'm going to buy a card. So I could have got ah. a card or a dice. Now, is that a change from first edition? Oh, and actually, remember, whoa. I remember the first one, it was... Uh, Whenever you got the fan check, it was uh, a coaching dice. A coaching dice, yes. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we looked at, particularly now that cards are so useful because you get the re-rolls, mm -hmm. uh, we thought, well, actually, that's a, a kind of a good way to earn those as well. So the yeah. fan check's, you know, giving you an extra action. So, yeah, you have got the option now of a coaching dice mm -hmm. or a fan check uh, or an action card or something like that. So, yeah, you've yeah. kind of got another decision. There's a lot of decisions to make, like yeah. what you want to do and what you want to take. So, yeah, so that goes, that blue dice, I can't use that anymore. Mm -hmm. And rush over. Uh, so I just need to move the ref and I'll uh, okay. take the ball off as well. So there we go. Yeah. Okay, so moving the referee then. Yeah, so the referee card. obviously keeps an eye and makes sure there's no dirty play. Yep. So to move the ref, mm -hmm. you take one of the cards. Yes. You can see here, uh, this number here mm -hmm. is the number of hexes you can move the ref. Okay, so where would you like to move the ref? So I'm just going to keep an eye on things right in the middle there. Okay. So the ref is. If you're a team that likes fouling, you want to kind of move the ref out of the way. Yes, just put put Bibi in the corner. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but if you, and also if you're, you can use the kind of ref as a, a bit like an obstacle, oh, really. Yeah. You can uh, use it to protect the rear of some of your players mm. to stop those slams from behind. Ah, yes. um, or you can just use it so they have to go around the ref, mm. which then can potentially block a goal. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the, the ref is actually quite a tactical piece in the game. Okay, interesting. Okay, uh, so rush over. So this yeah, is my end of my rush. One, uh, with our, our little dude, is this a little commentator? Uh, so that's the eye in the sky. Uh -huh. uh, so yeah, keeping an eye on things as well and just telling you how the game's going. Okay. Uh, then it's back to me. So I get my five. And at the start of my turn, the players on the one would move into the... At the so yeah, so you had one player sent off already. Yeah. Uh, so it has to be the end of your turn. Ah, yeah, so these guys are off, I'm afraid. You can't bring okay. them. Okay, damn, damn, damn. Uh, Launch the ball. Uh, yes, so I will launch the ball for one. That's okay. actually quite good for me. So I'll just go to the first one with the dread ball logo on here. And then I have my five actions and a card. Hmm. I've got a guard there. Yeah, I'll tell you what. It's vengeance time. Okay. So I'm going to. I thought this might end gonna up. going to spend one. Yeah. And I'm going to activate this guard here. Okay. I've got a move of six, but I don't need it all, so I'll go one, two, three, Ooh. and slam into the back of you. This is going to hurt. And now it'll be interesting to see what slamming in the rear does. So, yeah. Dice pull wise, I start with three, plus one for guard, plus one for being That's on the That's right, move. so you're on five dice, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anything for being in the rear of you? So you don't get anything, but I will suffer a minus one modifier. Hooray! Okay, let's see what we got. So for my guards, they are strength four plus. I get one. Yeah. Been rolling, amazing. No. Uh, not really much I can do about that, so it's just the one. Okay. So yeah, so with the um, strike, if you get slammed from behind, mm -hmm. it takes the minus one modifier because okay. you're being slammed from behind, so you can't react to it as well. Yeah. And you could only dodge. Ah, okay. So I mean, for the Draconis All Stars, the robots, it doesn't matter that much because they're all on four plus. But yeah. For dodging and for slamming back. Yeah. Uh, but for some of the guys like the orcs, yeah, you know they're on a they're on five plus I think for agility. Yeah. So yeah, it's a really good idea to get behind them and slam. Okay. So yeah, so I can't slam back because obviously you're behind. Yep. So normally I would have three, but I go down to two. Okay. Looking for fours. Oh. So I do push you away. Yeah, and I, well, you've actually doubled me because you've got one success and, and I got, got nothing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you'll actually you'll push me back and knock me right. down. Uh, so I'm going to push you to here. Yeah. Knock you down. And I will actually follow up. Okay. So you'll just turn. Yeah. As you kind finish. of look at. Yeah. You, you're looking at me on the ground, pointing yeah. and laughing. Uh, <laughs> so I still need to make an armor check. Yes. So at the minute I'm off for one. Yeah. We start with three. Yeah. Next one for being a guard. Yeah. And I'm looking for fours. Uh, oh. Note. You're off for one then? This is absolutely horrendous. Oh, yeah. I was actually hoping he would stay there so I could file him. Oh, no. He's off. He, he, saw, he obviously saw what was coming and thought, I'm just going to take a break. So <laughs> I'm just probably going, no, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, right, so rest of my turn then. Hmm. 
Okay, so I'm going to spend one, and I'm actually going to spend it on my striker, who is here. Yeah. And I move for six. Yeah. So I think that's okay. You've actually kind of blocked me a little bit, but... Oh, actually, if... I'm going to send him for a sprint. Okay. So... Uh, I need to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, just shy. That's yeah. So you were ten there, eleven, twelve. You could so you were ten there. Yeah. You could go at eleven. Uh huh. And then twelve. Uh, and then dash. Dash. Yeah. Oh, it's risky, but yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Yeah. So if I can get on the ball, I might be able to well, yeah, get exactly. back. Um, so that'll be on your speed stat. Okay, so speed stat for a striker is four plus. Yeah. So three um, dice. it is three dice. Um, now jacks actually get a bonus for dashing, not strikers. Ah, making them all a bit more useful. Jacks in this yeah. in second edition are a lot more useful because mm. now in the first one you can only make uh, say if you were throwing you can only do a one hex move and then yeah. throw, and if you were slamming you can only do a one hex move and throw. Yeah. But now you can do a full run just like the strikers or just like the guards. Yeah. So uh, jacks are a lot better in this one as well. Yeah. Yeah. So they they are more of the everyman with just yes. a bit more skill. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So I'm looking for a four. That'll be fine. Oh, it's yeah. fine. Uh, two successes, so yay! Okay, so he moves forward, and now um, you need to pick up the ball. Ball hopefully goes on to his base. So I'm getting four dice. Yeah, that's right. And it's on skill. Yeah. Yeah. Which is uh, four plus for me again. Yeah. Buff. Nice. He's he's just he's loving it. He's yeah. just picking up the ball, twirling it in his hands. So you've doubled it. So that means you'll get a free action, which is awesome. So that can be a run. Um, if you were like doubling it when you were standing up. Yeah, you could then do a similar thing. You'd get a free run action. Yeah. Um, or if you were guard, you can get a free slam as well. Yeah. So doubling it is is the way to go, I think. Yeah. One thing I remember from the older version of this is it is sometimes worth just ignoring hitting other people. Play the ball, run the ball, throw the ball, catch the ball, score with the ball. Yeah. Always go for the ball. That's uh, one of my one of the guys in our league that played. That's his catchphrase. Yeah. Always go for the ball. So I only need two points to bring this back into my favor, don't yeah. I? Yeah. So I don't even need to go all the way down to your end of the board. So no. My guy will go one, two. So you will need to go there, yeah. Yeah, so I'll go to there. And it's going to be a long shot. And I still have an action on him, which is great. Yeah. So before I do anything else, I'm going to buy a couple of cards. Okay. So you can only buy one card. Ah, uh, only the one? Yeah. Fair enough. But it might give me an extra action or an extra reroll. Oof. Another any player, any oh. action. Okay, so you can do some quite nasty stuff with those, potentially. Yeah, well, I, I could do, but I might just... I'm going to go for the score. Okay, yeah. And then I've got two rerolls if I need them. That's a good why idea. I bought that. Yeah. So, he's going to pay one to throw. So, his pull is... I say he's a striker. Plus yeah. one for striker, minus one for small target. Minus one for distance. Minus one for distance. So, if you're throwing between one and three hexes, there's yeah. no modifier... Four and um, yeah. four onwards is like uh, minus one, and then yeah. seven onwards is yeah. minus two. Okay, so let's let's see if I can do this. Here we go. He gets oh, one. nice! So he lands it, and I go one, two points, bringing it back in my favor. And the rest of this, if it was league play, I would literally just be aiming to do damage. So that would actually that would be it. That would be the end of your rush there. So yeah, you would in a league play, you'd be obviously you get bonus points for that yeah. guy. He would now be leveling up potentially. Yeah. Um, you'd be getting things for like sending people off, seriously yeah. injuring them. But yeah, that's kind of the end of the game. So well done, Justin. <laughs> All right, there is one thing I want to show everybody, which we've actually missed, because I want this to be the, the basics of how to yeah, play. Yeah, sure. So I want us to actually take two of our guys. Let's take my guard and your guard. Let's say he hadn't actually got knocked out. So let's put him back here on okay. the back. And I'm going to file him. There's like a replay. Ooh. Yeah. So uh, guard, file and guard. Yeah. Uh, what do we do? So... This is called a stomp foul. So there are a number of different fouls in the game. Uh -huh. You've got stomp, you've got sucker punch. Uh -huh. So um, sucker punch is if you start in the front uh -huh. and run round and slam them in the back. Yeah. Uh, you've got dodgeball, which is when you just chuck the ball at their head. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a really desperate one to do. If, you, if you're completely out of things, you're like, I'm not going to win. I'm just going right. to throw the ball at you. I, I, I tell you what, let's set up each one. So I will stomp you. Yeah. Let's set it up so that uh, you can sucker punch okay. a jack with your guard yeah so let's start around here then yeah and then uh let's have my striker 
go to here, and he will dodgeball your jack. Okay. Just for a go, because then we can show all three types of files. Yep. Okay, so let's start with the stump. Yes. So um, you'd be on four dice. Okay. Because uh, uh, you're a guard. So, boom, boom. Yep. And anything extra? No, no, ground, obviously, or... and I can only dodge when I'm on the ground as okay. well. So I would roll, looking for my strength stat of fours. I would get two. I would then possibly pay a card yeah. to actually re-roll one for nothing. Okay. So, so that's, need... that's two. I'd just be dodging on the floor. Yeah. So yeah, Oof. so I would have got... Yeah, that would have no. been nasty. Right. So again, I would have had to make the armor check, potentially been sent off. Yeah. However, what what is the bonus to the the file then for this? So uh, if you doubled me, yeah. which you did in that case, you would get a fan check. All right. Yeah. Uh, and also, it kind of obviously, if I'm on the floor, I can only dodge. So again, that's really good for going yeah. after those guys like the orcs, mm -hmm. who have a, a really kind of low or high agility of like five plus. It gives you a chance to kind of stomp yeah. on them and, and kick the boot in, basically. Okay. Well, you've also got the the referee here, who is pretty close. So is there a chance the ref could notice this? Now? Yeah. So the the, the way the fouls work have changed slightly in this one. Uh, you now only the ref is spotting what's going on. You've no longer got the eye in the sky, as yeah. you had in the first one. So what you did, you check, is the ref within seven? Yes. Well, obviously this one is. So that means I would roll for the ref, and I would get an extra dice. Uh -huh. So I'll be on four dice. Um, then what you would do is, you can actually now distract the ref. It's a bit like in uh, football, mm -hmm. when all the players come up and go, whoa, 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 ref, you know, he, he, that was an accident. He stomped on his head completely by accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they basically try and persuade the ref that <laughs> there was nothing to see, everything was fine, it's all a friendly game. What the hell, that was a BS call! Yeah, so what, you, could, you can count all your players within seven of the ref. So right, you've got so I've two. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you've actually got two. Okay. So, oh, so not including the five. No, not including the, guy, not including the guy that's just fouled. Yeah. Um, you get a dice for each of these guys, and if it was a guard, you'd get two dice, because obviously they're the most intimidating. Yeah. So what happens now, I roll my dice for the ref. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> I think he's going up. Okay, so I got four. Alright. Uh, you actually got two sixes there, so you'd need to roll one oh, more yes. into it. Okay. <laughs> so now, Lifetime it man. may not be a good idea for you to distract, because if I double the roll, yeah. it means that potentially some of the other players who are distracting could be sent off as well. They're going to keep it stumped. Yeah, they're like, yeah, that definitely was. Like you can be the, going. For the order of play, is it after your roll I decide if I want to try and distract, yes. or is it before? Yeah, you decide afterwards. Oh, okay. no, actually, so you declare at the same time. So yeah, yeah we'll let this one slide. Yeah. But yeah, normally if you distract and um, you fail to distract, yeah. and I double it, you could potentially get sent so off. So the ref just goes, look, I've had enough of all of you, get off my back. Yeah, it's a bit like sometimes when you see them all produce and yellow cards in the pocket <laughs> continuously that's what happens <laughs> so unfortunately so, that means he's yeah. off for the so he's off yeah and gone yeah he's out of the game so it was a particularly right nasty foul yeah what well, you, you know there was an eyeball it kind of went rolling across the the pitch yeah yeah um and he would have been off because obviously i got two he would have been yeah. off there as well and then oh, where'd my other two dice go there oh the blind <laughs> okay, so the next one is the sucker punch. Yeah, so the sucker so punch. You'll run it. Yeah. So you would spend your, your action. Okay, so spend an action as normal. Yeah. And then you're going to move. And normally I'd have to come in here, but I'd go one, two, three, four, and slam. Uh huh. So as we talked about, I would get five dice because I'm a guard. Yeah. So I'd come in and roll those. Uh, oh, not bad. So three. Yeah. Uh, and then because I'm slamming you from behind, yep. you can you lose a dice, so yep. you can, you'll be on two dice. Yeah, so I'm on two dice, and it's a jack yep. with agility three plus. That's right. So, do that. Uh, get one. So, so I would have tripled you, so I would have got the fan check for that one. Yeah. Keep that over there. Um, then obviously, you, the thing to remember is you have to declare the foul. Yes. If you don't declare the foul, then uh, no one spots it. So, so do I declare the foul before I roll? Uh, it it's, any point? it's after, so you would have to spot that I had just sucker punched you, yeah. basically. So you would have to go, wait a minute, he was in my front arc. Yeah. So you can be obviously be, if you're the fouling player, you can be a little bit sneaky, because I don't have to declare that yeah. I fouled. Particularly there's another rule as well, which is called sneak, uh -huh. which is when you get more than six players on the pitch. Uh -huh. So you could just very casually go, oh, I'm just going to bring this guy on here. Yeah, and if your opponent's not counting. Yeah, if they're not counting. And that <laughs> happens a lot when I play at work with uh, Stuart, one of our guys. Right. He always brings more players onto the pitch. Um, you see, 
after a time you'll learn the sort of dirty tricks that your mates like to yeah. play so you'll be watching for them yeah i'm always counting how many players he's got on so yeah so it is the kind of responsibility of the player being fouled to actually spot it yeah so obviously this time you, you already yeah. spotted it because yes. i said but uh and also that you've then got to weigh it up if you're the fouling players well i could potentially earn fan checks on this so do i want to tell you i'm about to foul as well because if yeah. not i wouldn't get the fan checks potentially so if you don't declare it's a foul you don't get the fan check no Oh, yeah. But do you get the like bonuses to it? So you'd get the bonuses. Yeah, you would get the bonuses of only being able to roll yeah. uh, two dice. You'd lose yeah. a dice. But it wouldn't be that case of, oh, I've just doubled that. Yeah. I would earn a fan check, but yeah. I might be sent off. So you kind of keep yeah. stumped for the sake of uh, a fan check. Yeah. That's, well, you see, if you knew you were about to get like a, a bonus, you know, coaching die or a bonus card, it might make it worth it. So, okay, that's another layer of tactical depth yeah. in the game that I quite like. Yeah, foul, fouling is actually really fun i mean I, I never used to foul in first edition i was a very honest player but actually in this one i've been fouling all the time particularly with that particularly with earning the fan checks and then getting the potential extra cards yeah it uh, makes it a lot more worth it yeah exactly so those last kind of hail mary ones in the yeah. last 10 you'd be like i'm gonna foul everybody just to try and desperately get the extra yeah. cards to, so i can get strike yeah okay last one then so dodgeball this is me winging the ball at his head yeah how do i do this so it's like a normal throw okay you just chuck it at my head Okay. And then I have to try and dodge it. Okay, so it's a skill check for my striker. Yeah. Uh, so start with three, plus one for striker. Yeah, that's right. And uh, is that it? Yeah, and then the number of successes is potentially the number of damage, a bit right. like a normal slam. And does it, do I have to be behind you to do it? Can I be in front of you? You can be in front of me, uh, yeah. but I will get, because you're behind, I'll get minus one. Ah, uh, so yeah. Uh, yeah, that's whenever you might decide, yeah, this is worth it. Let's have a cheeky pop at his head. Yeah. All right, well, let's see what I get. Four. Ooh, hello. That's, oh my goodness. That's a weird at ball. Okay. So that's four. So I would just get, I'd just be able to dodge. I yeah. can't catch it. I mean, that'd be yeah. awesome if I could catch it. Yeah. So I start with three. I'm right. a striker, so I would normally get four, but I lose one. Yeah. So now I need to see if I dodge it on fours. Oh, oh. one. Two. Two. So now, I, I've doubled you. So you doubled me, so then it's exactly like a slam. Yeah. I'd get knocked down. Yeah. I'm potentially now off for two turns. Yeah. And you resolve it exactly the same as you would with an armor check. Yeah. Okay, that's that's really interesting to see that the dodges feel more worth it now. They feel like, mm, I could risk it here, but do I want to? Yeah, yeah. And putting the onus on your opponent to keep an eye out for when you're fouling, it's just, if you like to play sneaky, you have that option. Yeah, so some of them are really, ob like that one's fairly obvious, you just chuck yeah. the ball in my head, but things like the slamming from behind, the sneak, yeah. Yeah. they're very yeah, kind of like... you on the ground's obvious. Yeah. Yeah, so you can get away with fouls if you're a, yeah. a bit of a sneaky player. Yeah, well, I mean, like I, I would be tempted to try and sneak a player on, you know. So actually, let's say I had snuck a player on. Yeah. Brought said, oh, I'm just going to bring this guy on and go one, two, three, well, three, four, five, six, and say I went straight for a slam. Yeah. Because that, that's the way I would do it when I'm trying to sneak a player on. I'm instantly going to want you looking at something else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, thinking. so you're worrying about the slam. So what would happen then is at the end of this action, yeah. I'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, I'd count how many players, and actually in this case you haven't got yeah. to let's say, you know, bring these guys on as well. <laughs> right. yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah, you've got seven players I, on the I've pitch. been playing shenanigans, yeah. Uh, I've been like, one, two, three, four, 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 seven, counting. I go, wait a minute. Yeah. And then I'd go, that's a sneak foul. Yeah. And actually the entire team right. is involved in this. Uh, so what would happen then is you would roll, a bit like a ref check, uh, yeah. sorry, a bit like the normal foul check, yeah. and the one closest to the suspension is the one that will get sent off. So it's normally the one that's just snuck on. Oh, uh, yeah, but if I, if I had a, a guard like down the back here, or if I had a spare striker on and I wanted to bring an extra guard out, I could bring the guard out, have him slam, and send like a jack or a striker back in. Yeah. That could be very sneaky. Yeah, so um, yeah, so again, sneaking is, is, a, is a kind of really, it's a really good one to slide by your opponent. Cause yeah. They, they tend not to notice that one. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's, you can sort of red herring them by instantly making them think, oh crap, I'm getting slammed, I yeah. need to focus on that. And yeah, exactly. don't think to count. Yeah, yeah, or just doing things like coming on and sprinting. Yeah. Because they're simply thinking, okay, he's sprinting and getting the ball. So yeah. that's an interesting one as well. Yeah. And then, actually, that's good for the sprint as well, because then that player's probably so far up the pitch, they're not going to be the one getting sent off. Yeah, exactly. That's it's clever stuff. Mm, clever yeah. stuff. All right, well, I'll tell you what, everybody, uh, I think we've covered all the main basic mechanics, yes? Yeah, yeah, that's about, yeah, we've done everything there, I think. All right, uh, first victory to me. Uh, get your comments in below. Uh, tell us what do you think. Uh, do you like the new mechanics? Do you like that 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 new push mechanic and that new ability to get even more cards into your hand to actually get those extra actions up and running? Because Dreadball has been a game that I have loved for years. It's great for just efficient play on the tabletop. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, also, I want to know, how many of you out there are going to be sneaky fouling all over the place? We'll move on. We'll see you in the next one. Hi everyone, we hope you're enjoying this themed week. Make sure you don't miss any of it by checking out the playlist and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button to ding our dong so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, come across and join us on beastofwar.com for more great gaming content and a fantastic community. Also, get your comments in for your chance to win.